Welcome to this video. Till now, we have learned to find the volume of the new solid formed by the combination of two or more solids and of the solid formed when one solid is taken out of the other. Today, we will see how we can use this in our daily life. A conical vessel of radius 6 cm and height 8 cm is completely filled with water. A ball is thrown into the vessel which touches it and some water spills out of the vessel. Find out the volume of the water left in the vessel. Can you tell how we can find out the volume of the water left in the vessel? We know that the volume of the water left in the vessel is equal to the difference of the total volume of water in the vessel and the volume of the water spilled out of the vessel. Also, the total volume of the water in the vessel will be equal to the volume of the conical vessel, that is, the cone. And the volume of the water spilled out of the vessel will be equal to the volume of the ball, that is, the sphere. Because the ball spills out as much water as space it occupies. So, we can say that the volume of water left in the vessel is equal to the difference of the volume of the conical vessel and that of the spherical ball. So, now we have to find out the volume of the cone and the sphere. From the figure, the values of the radius and height of the cone are known to us. But the value of the radius of the sphere is not known to us, which we have to find out. Can you tell how we can find out the radius of the sphere? Let the radius of sphere be S. Let's now draw a figure for given situation in which we represent the cone by triangle and sphere by circle where the values of OP and OM are equal since they are the radii of the same circle. Also, AM and AP will be equal. Can you tell why? Since AM and AP are the tangents to a circle from an external point A. You must remember that the tangent to a circle is perpendicular to its radius. Therefore, AP and OP and AM and OM will be mutually perpendicular. Now, by Pythagoras theorem in triangle APC, we get AC equals to 10 centimeters. Also, from the figure, we can say that CP is equal to the sum of CO and OP, from which we get CO equals to 8 minus S. In the same manner, from the figure, we get MC equals to 4 centimeters. Now, Using Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle CMO, we get S equals to 3 centimeters, which is equal to the radius of the spherical ball. So, let's find the volume of cone and sphere and solve it further. To get the volume of the remaining water, which is equal to 188.57 cubic centimeters. Today, 
we saw how we can solve the problems related to the combination and separation of solids in our daily life.